Speaking for myself, I continue to buy gold and silver. Even though prices are depressed, it's moronic that they're depressed, particularly when you hear the, the, the again, Abe, the new prime minister of Japan, saying a, quote, trade, a currency war has broken out. Three weeks earlier, the departing chief of the Bank of England, Mervyn King, in New York, a currency war has broken out. Guido Montego over there in Brazil. There's a currency war going on. All of these nations are devaluing their currency, China included, so that they could flood money into the banking system, give them all the cheap money they need to keep this thing going, and to help exporters export their crap and be in a competitive position because the currency is weaker. So what does all this mean? It means debasing the currency. The more you print, the cheaper it gets, particularly as production goes down and consumption goes up. You're buying more than you're, than you're making. So gold and silver prices should go up. And people say, why aren't they going up? As I mentioned earlier, hey, remember that thing called LIBOR? Nobody's talking about it anymore. They rigged the interest rate game. You see, all of these fines that banks are paying, no heads ever roll, because the white shoe boys can't get their hands dirty or feet taken off those red carpets and put into jail. Look what they've done. They've been rigging the game. They rigged the LIBOR game. They rigged the entire derivatives market. They suckered people into buying worthless securities. You think they're rigging the gold and silver markets? Because when you look at how much is being traded on each of them globally, guess what? The central banks in collusion with their other bankster buddies, they could rig the game very easily. But for me, I'm in it long term.